No, sensors can sometimes mean crashes and crashes lead to damages. Today I'll show you what to do if your DJI Neo gets damaged. Hey guys, welcome back to our drone channel. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any further video. We'll get started right after the intro. Now, with such a small drone like the DJI Neo, there was no room for a full obstacle detection system. The propeller guards do protect it pretty well, but crashes still often result in broken propeller blades. Today I'll show you just how easy it is to replace them. Well, the key is of course having the right tools by hand. Well, by the way, I don't actually have broken propellers right now, but I've got a different problem. I'm gonna show you right now. The little drone got caught in Anne's long hair. Uh, yeah, and that was a painful experience. But don't worry, everything's fine. The hair got tangled all the way into the motor coils due to the strong propeller rotation. So now I need to check if I've managed to remove all the hair out of the motors. And I'm taking you along with me for that. All right, to avoid most dangers, we're first going to take out the battery, which will cut off the drone's power. The battery is located on the underside of the DJI Neo. All we have to do is press the button and slide the battery out the back. Now let's take a closer look at the drone itself. The propeller I need to check is on the back left. So this one right here and on the back right. The propellers are attached from the top. To remove the screws, we'll need some tools. DJI provides their trusty screwdriver, a PH00, but it's pretty awkward to use because of its tiny handle. I prefer using a different tool set. In this case, I got myself a set from Fenacan. It includes 24 small bits and a magnetic handle. I love it because the case is also magnetic, so everything stays in place and nothing falls out. As I said, PH00 is the right size, which I'm using now. Let's quickly compare it with the DJI screwdriver. Looks like it should fit just fine. All right, let's grab the Neo. First, we need to remove the propeller protection. On the bottom, we'll find the latches. We'll start by loosening the one in the middle. You can do this easily with your nails. Then move on to the next one. And one more. Sometimes it's a bit tricky, but in general it should work with just your fingers. And now one side of the propeller guard is off. There it is. Now the propellers are exposed. Let's set the guard aside. Just to show you how easy it is, I quickly remove the other side as well. Like before, we'll start in the middle and then release the latches one by one. They come off pretty easily and now we've got the second cage in hand. So let's set that aside too. Now the propellers are completely exposed. Let's take a closer look. The two screws are in the middle of the propeller sitting in a recessed area. As mentioned earlier, they are PH00 crosshead screws. Okay, let's grab the screwdriver and start losing the screws. Hold the propeller with two fingers so it doesn't spin. You should be able to get screws pretty easily. The recessed area helps even though you can't see much. Here's the first screw. You can also see why a magnetic screwdriver is so important. The screws are pretty tiny. Now we'll loosen the second screw the same way. The motor pin still holds the propeller in place so it won't fall off. We can just pull it off and take a closer look at it. Always check to make sure the props has no cracks or even small fractures. So after that, I'll take a look at the coils in the motor and check that there are no hairs stuck in there. If you are about to swapping out a propeller, DJI provides the replacement parts. Align your Neo exactly as shown on the labeling and you can't really go wrong. But be careful, there are two types of props labeled A or B. This is because the propellers rotate diagonally in different directions, so it's important to use the correct one. The package with the new propellers also include two new screws, which you should definitely use. 
The old screws might work, but because they are so small, the threads could have worn down a bit when unscrewing them, making it harder to secure the propeller tightly. In my case, I'm not installing a new propeller blade, I checked the old screws and didn't find any issues, so I'm just reusing them. I've already placed a propeller blade on the motor. So hold it down again with two fingers, then insert and tighten one screw at a time. When tightening a screw, be careful not to over tighten them, as they can strip easily. But don't leave them too loose either, so they stay secure. Once both screws are in, give it one more visual check. Alright, no more tools needed from here on. We're going to reattach the cages now. As you might have noticed, both sides are exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter which one goes on the right or left. Let's grab one, flip the DJI Neo over and line up the cage. It's usually easiest to start with one of the other latches. Then you can clip the other into place one by one. Make sure the latches are snapping into the little holes where they belong to. Now let's do the same for the other side. See, it's really not hard and goes pretty smoothly. Finally, we'll pop the battery back in and we're done with the propeller swap. Congratulations! Once you've properly put your DJI Neo back together, a test flight is a must. Make sure the drone's flying as expected. One super important thing, don't start an automated quick shot. You have to do a manual flight test. So start your DJI Neo as usual. Next, grab your phone with the DJI Fly app installed. Then connect the Neo by hitting the button. It might take a few seconds and usually it connects via Wi-Fi. So also make sure that your Wi-Fi on your mobile is switched on. Once the connection is established, the screen will switch to the controls. Now, like I said, fly manually. Don't rely on any quick shot. Well, why is that? Imagine something's not working right and you let the drone fly autonomously. This could lead to uncontrolled crashes. And that brings me to the next point. Make sure you're testing a drone in a wide open space with no one around. Start the flight by holding down the launch button. The DJI Neo should take off and hover at about 1 meter height. Now it's time for your test flight. You've got the two control sticks at the bottom of the screen. You need them both. The left one controls height and rotation, while the right one controls horizontal movements. Carefully test all movements one by one. Go upwards, go downwards, rotate right, rotate left, Drift right way, drift left, fly forward, fly backward. Make absolutely sure the DJI Neo moves smoothly with no jerks. Only then you can be sure the propeller blades are installed correctly. If everything works, you can land the drone. If you run into any issues during the flight, stop the test immediately and check if the correct propellers are installed and the screws are tight. So folks, as you can see, it's not a big deal. In fact, it's pretty easy if you got the right tools. I'll link you the screwdriver set I used down below. And uh, that's it for today. I hope I could help you a bit and I wish you always safe flying. If you enjoyed the video and don't want to miss future content, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. And always remember, keep smiling. Life's too short to stress out. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.